it is a story we've been following for a while now. This is all unfolded outside the county administration building on North Beach Street in Daytona Beach. News 6 reporter Lauren Korn has been on top of this story. She joins us now live from City Hall. And Lauren, you got a hold of a letter from the mayor of Daytona Beach. What do leaders hope to accomplish? Well, we said they hope to accomplish uh, to provide homes for the homeless, but they tell me it is a process. And in that letter, they describe that they have short term goals, long term goals. The short term plan being getting money from the city, donations to help out the homeless. Long term, to build a facility that's not only a shelter, but to provide medical and social services. Homelessness, a problem that the city of Daytona Beach says it's had for a while. But now the city says it's got to act fast, finding temporary and permanent housing after taking in more than 100 homeless people all at once. The mayor sending this letter to county commissioners discussing short and long term goals, saying in part, we'll coordinate and leverage the current resources in our community. And the long term solution would be safe harbor, saying, quote, donating $400,000 annually for the next 10 years. And building the facility. The county offering to pay $4 million to build the property, then asking the city to pay for operational costs. There is no short term fix for the city of Daytona and for Volusia County. Andre Bailey, CEO of Central Florida Commission on Homelessness, says the reason why Orlando is striving with the homeless is because they provide homes instead of shelters. Every city in America that solved this has made a long term commitment to housing first. And that methodology has brought real solutions. Meanwhile, the city says its goal is also to provide permanent housing for the homeless, but says it's a process and are working on the plans now. And in this meeting tonight that starts at 6 o'clock, the city tells me that they will be getting $110,000 in donations just for the homeless. The city says it's also partnered up with Halifax Hospital to provide medical services for the homeless. And they're helping to pay the additional funds to help with Salvation Army to provide those extra beds. So they're really trying. And again, that meeting starts in less than an hour.